Hello, welcome to the UPSC Quick Revision Series. Today we will discuss a very important topic in economics, the external sector. Our agenda for today is as follows. We will understand the balance of payments, BOP, its current and capital accounts, exchange rate systems and the types of foreign investment. So, what is the balance of payments or BOP? It is a systematic record of all economic transactions between the residents of a country and the rest of the world during a specific period, usually a year. Think of it like a country's balance sheet. It has two main accounts, the current account and the capital account. From an accounting perspective, the BOP is always in balance, which means the total credits, inflow of money are always equal to the total debits, outflow of money. The first part of the BOP is the current account. This account records the flow of goods, services and transfers. It has four main components. The first is trade in goods, that is the import and the export of physical items, the balance of which is called the balance of trade. The second is trade in services, which includes services like IT and tourism. The third is investment income, such as profits or interest earned from investments made abroad. And the fourth is unilateral transfers, which includes gifts or money sent by Indians working abroad, that is remittances. When our total exports and other payments exceed our total exports and receipts, it is called a current account deficit or CAD. The second part of the BOP is the capital account. This account records all transactions that affect a country's assets or liabilities. It primarily consists of three main components. The first is foreign investment, which is of two types. Foreign direct investment or FDI, which is long term and foreign portfolio investment, that is FBI, which is short term. The second is loans, which includes external commercial borrowings or ECBs and government debt. And the third is banking capital, which includes changes in the foreign assets and liabilities of commercial banks. The exchange rate is the price of one currency in terms of another. There are three main systems. In a fixed exchange rate system, the government of central bank fixes the exchange rate. In a floating exchange rate system, the rate is determined by the market forces of demand and supply. And the third is managed floating system, where the central bank intervenes in the foreign exchange market to influence the rate. India follows this system. When the government reduces the value of its currency, it is called devaluation. And when the value decreases due to market forces, it is called depreciation. Let's now clearly understand the difference between FDI and FPI as this is very important for the exam. FDI is a long-term investment where the investor has direct control over the company's management, such as a foreign company setting up a factory in India. It is more stable. In contrast, FPI is a short-term investment where the investor buys financial assets in the stock market and has no control over management. It is more volatile and can be pulled out easily, which is why it is sometimes called hot money. Now, let's test our understanding with some practice questions. 